In this video, I am insanely white right now because I got a big ass light right there behind the camera. But in this video, I'm going to be installing the Mega Squirt, the uh the AIT sensor. I'm not gonna be going really too much in depth on you know how to install all that all that shit. Honestly, the only way I know how to do it is from the car passion channel. I know I've already mentioned them before in another video, but if you need to know how to do anything with your Miata, I'm telling you, go to that dude's channel. He knows his shit. I don't. But before I really start on anything, I've already drilled and tapped into the uh, into the intercooler piping right here. For well, this is the AIT sensor, and what I did was the the wall on this isn't really thick. And this on the sensor is straight threads, so I don't expect it to be really airtight and not have not create a boost leak. So what I did was I don't know why I'm so out of breath, but what I did was all I did was I threaded it in. I didn't tighten it up very much. I mean I snugged it up, but that's about it. And then I just went all the way around it and put JB weld all around it to hopefully. Hopefully keep it airtight and not have any type of boost leaks or anything. So I know that this is going to be kind of hard to see and whatnot because I'm in the dark and I only have one light. But all I'm going to be doing is taking this shield off, which is just taken off by these bolts. And <clears throat> I'm going to pull the stock ECU out and put the put mega squirt in mounted and everything get it all mounted up and then I will check back up with what I'm gonna do after that Squirt is pretty much just like it's just bolted in right now, and the uh, and the stock plugs are just like plugged into it. Is all that it is right now. <clears throat> what I'm about to do right now is run the vacuum line from Mega Squirt through the firewall to the engine bay. The vacuum line I already have it going through the firewall, and all it is is I'll show you in just a second. But there's just a little like grommet hole. And I just went straight through there because mine, <laughs> without gutting and everything it is, I just got an open holes in through the firewall that still have like that rubber grommet on it. So it's, it's real easy for me. I just go straight through it. So I just put it through and now I'm about to just plug it in right there. So this is the vacuum line right here going through the firewall just right there and all I'm going to do is just route it and I'm going to tee into this line right here. So now the vacuum hose is all run, it is teed into this line right here you it's kind of hard to see because it's perfectly in the shadow but it's teed into this line right here and it just goes down through the firewall and into mega square right there now I'm going to be putting this intercooler piping back on because the JB weld should be dry enough So it is now the next day, it's Christmas Eve, and as you can see, it is raining. 
so I'm still right now all I'm doing is I have already get this up, the wire for the AIT sensor I've already <clears throat> added some more to it and now all I'm about to do is just simply plug it in to right there and then run it. I'm gonna probably zip tie it to like the the fan bodies. I don't know exactly what's called. I'm probably gonna zip tie it to like these. Go down here, run it across, and then run it back up to the mass airflow plug. I'm pretty sure when looking at it like this, you just plug it into the first and the sixth one. I'm not completely positive. Um, I'm gonna have to look at. I'm gonna have to look it up again. But I'm pretty sure it is the first and the sixth. And I apologize for any any background noise that you may hear because it is raining and it's gonna be raining all day. So what can you do? Now that these are plugged in, they're not really tight, but they're plugged in. I'm gonna wrap them in electrical tape. That way they stay in place and they stay out of the weather. So now that Mega Squirt is all in and everything, and the AIT sensor is all plumbed up and the wires all ran out of the way. Got it all taped up. Doesn't look good, but it works. I still need to check the timing to see where exactly that is. That way I can get just a bass tune onto Mega Squirt and just be able to start it up and pretty much pull it onto the trailer. But I gotta find one of them, uh, I can't remember the name of it, one of them like uh, timing gun checking thingers, I don't fucking, I don't know the name of it, but I need to find one of them because I don't want to buy one and I just recently went to AutoZone and they say they don't rent them, so I need to try and find a place that'll rent one, so I'm definitely not going to buy one. But for now, that's going to be it for this video. There's still plenty more to come with this build. This is just all I can do today. So, if you like the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Later.